Uchin Falls Cave, here we come. Hello everybody, this is Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance. In today's episode, we are going to go through the Fuchin Falls Cave and try to complete it wholly, where we can try to get the special item that will give us a new type of Synergy spell. Yes, we're going to do that, and then we are going to go meet the, the old man from back over at Fuchin Temple, and then we're going to make our way out of here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this episode that's already in progress. And as you can tell, we're fighting another Mimic. Yeah, like we haven't even fought one of these before. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we are going to defeat it, but I think it's pretty much either going to give us a Water of Life, or it's going to give us a Psy Crystal, or it's going to give us a Potion, or a Vial, to say the least. But, uh, whatever it gives us, we'll accept it with grace. I always keep saying that with grace. I don't know why, but I tend to say that quite often. But, yeah. So, uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you all had a great weekend, and uh, I'm sure most of you are still uh, keeping watch of Bayonetta. Or my left play of Bayonetta. And, uh, it should be up on Got- I mean, on uh, Necessary Gaming right now. So, if you haven't done- you know, if you haven't done so already, be sure you go to Necessary Gaming's channel and pick the, you know, and go watch that so that way you can uh, see it to your heart's content. And I get back on track with the game, with the prologue, and I'm finally going to be fighting the angels in the cemetery. Just to get things rolling here. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to complete the prologue wholly until next weekend. Yeah, I think that's how it all goes. Anyway, we come here. And it says, Rays of Life, give birth to the shadows to where it will illuminate your path. And evidently, we need to illuminate the path by making sure that dragon wakes up so it can show us the pathway that we need to go. And don't worry, it'll be quite an easy task. Uh, I will say that, you know, I'll say it that much. Okay, we got some dirges, and I think we got ourselves a mole of some kind. An earth mole, or a ground mole, or something. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, finish them off, and then we will keep on going. And, uh, yeah, after this episode of, you know, Golden Sun, my first episode of Conker's Bad Fur Day should be airing not too long after that. Should be lots of fun. And back this weekend, I did, uh, I did a brand new episode of the 4DS Audio Podcast, and it should be up on Got Game. And, uh, I'll be sure to provide a link in the description as well, and, uh, I'll be sure to post the uh, episode here on my YouTube channel in about a few, in about probably uh, at least a day or two, or at least three, who knows. But yeah, I'll be sure to get it up on here as soon as I can, so that way you guys can listen to it. We had a pretty good time, and 16-Bit Jeff from ReviewTopia.net joins us as a special guest finally, and that was something that I was really, you know, that I was really happy about. So, yeah, for the next two hours, you get some really good enjoyment coming out of me and coming out of all of us. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot to talk about, especially with the uh, speculations going on with E320. I mean, with uh, the source that came from that one dude or that one UK outlet saying that, you know, Microsoft and Sony are going to unveil their next console at this year's E3, where we give our speculations as to what you know, if it might actually happen, or if it might not happen, and where we should see, or, you know, yeah, where we should see the future of gaming should go, you know, with the next generation consoles. And we make some pretty good points, too, and it was quite a, you know, it was quite a long subject to talk about, but, yes, it was a great one at that. So, yeah, be sure to go check it out on gotgame.com if you have not done so already, and, uh, and enjoy the next two hours of it, and we should be back next weekend for another episode. And we're going to have 16-Bit Jeff back for another episode where he's going to deliver his top five best and worst games of 2011. And that should be a pretty cool episode, but uh, we do not have the bad gamer joining us until that time in the next couple of weeks or so, because he's still AWOL, meaning that he still has no internet because he moved out of his place. But don't worry, he will be back in no time. Okay, we finally felled that Jupiter Gene, and after defeating that Jupiter Genie, we now have the Jupiter Genie, Zephyr, joining us. So that is the third Jupiter Genie that has joined our party. So we have nine Genie, or nine Genes, or whatever. Nine of the Gene joining us. All right. So we're getting closer and closer to completing 
the complete list of genes, or of the gene in this game. But for the most part, we still have a long way to go. Okay, so, let's see, where should we go next? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, set Zephyr to Ivan, since he's a Jupiter gene, I mean a Jupiter adept. And let's heal everybody and see, oh, I see, mm, excuse me, I see. He has uh, shown a lot of hit points, or whatever, or shown a lot more status increase, but he still hasn't shown uh, quite a lot because his class has still has not changed as of yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this, and uh, we can jump this way, and actually, why are we- Oh, I see, because we want to jump over to that log, so that way, or that stump, so that way we can do go down the stairs here, and we can grab this. And this is a dragon's eye. And we need to take it back to that dragon so that way he can... Or that way the dragon can illuminate the path for us. You know, so we can try to figure out how we need to get to the innermost part of the Fuchin Falls Temple to grab the item that we need to give us a new synergy ability. And, uh... Yeah, so... Anyway, this, uh... Pa these past few days, I I've been stuck... I've just been... Uh, completely heavy in watching a lot of Batman movies, especially uh, the animated ones like uh, Batman Year One, Under the Red Hood, which I really liked. Then I also watched Mask of the Phantasm and uh, Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero and Batman Return, live-action movie. Yeah, so I've just been watching a lot of Batman films these past few days because I've just been in a Batman mood ever since because I don't know why. I think it's because of the Dark Knight Rises releasing this, uh, what do you call it? The Dark Knight Rises releasing this July, so, yeah, I've been kind of getting heavily stoked about that, and I would like to, uh, you know, do some li live commentary retro Let's Plays for, you know, my channel, probably in July, to hype up for The Dark Knight Rises, which would make sense, because I know that my good friend... Not, uh, K Wing Reviews is going to be doing some more reviews of some of the Batman games he missed out on because of the Dark Knight Rises releasing in July. So he's going to be doing another Batman month, which is pretty exciting. It'll probably be another, you know, a one Batman episode a week. So yeah, I think that would be pretty cool that he, you know, did reviews of Batman games while, you know, I do Let's Plays of some of my favorite, or some of my favorites. But, uh,. And I know a lot of people might be asking me, am I ever going to do a Let's Play of, like, Arkham Asylum or Arkham City? Well, I would love to, but those games... Well, maybe Arkham Asylum at least, but Arkham City, it's way more in-depth than uh, Arkham Asylum. But I do plan to do a Let's Play of that sometime in the future. And I think I might be switching my format with the Let's Plays that I do every week. Because I think doing two a week, uh, one of them, you know, one of the Let's Plays don't get that much recognition. It's like... Each of them get half re recognition when they are, you know, uh, when they are being shown within the same week. So, I think uh, by the time when Skyward Sword, when I do the Let's Play of that, that uh, I'm going to be doing two Let's Play, I mean, doing a let one Let's Play a week, you know, five episodes a week between two Let's Plays. So, one a week and then the other the next week, and then it just repeats after that. And I've been thinking about doing another PS3 game, and I'm heavily thinking about going back to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, or doing that game, because I did Ninja Gaiden Sigma last year, so it would only make sense that I, you know, get on with that game, to say the most. Anyway, we have completed the Fuchin Falls uh, Underground Cave, and we have obtained the Orb of Force, and that is a new Synergy ability, where it will actually teach us how to use the Synergy spell Force. Basically, it's the fist of the, you know, Synergy spell move, and it's you know, thrusting itself forward to knock objects away from each other or to, you know, pound on stumps to summon things to come out of them. And you shall see when we go to this forest, which is very, which is coming up very shortly, but we won't do that until the next episode. But uh, other than that, yeah, expect some Batman related, you know, material coming on my channel within, you know, the coming months. And uh, I think this uh, summer, uh, you know, action movie blockbuster is actually going to get pretty intense because, let's face it, you have The Amazing Spider-Man coming out, which is the reboot 
of the Spider-Man film series, you know, with, uh, what's his name, Andrew Garfield playing Peter Parker. And you also have uh, the Avengers movie that Disney is distributing for the first time. And you also have The Dark Knight Rises, so, yeah. Some really good, uh, looks like we have some really good, uh, you know, live-action comic book movies actually going to be releasing this summer again. And uh, I would expect no less from The Dark Knight Rises, and hopefully it's as good as, as The Dark Knight, because I really liked The Dark Knight. More so than Batman Begins, but, you know, that's just me. Anyway, we have completed, like I said, we have completed the Fuchin Falls Cave, and now we are talking to the old man here, and he's telling us that the power we obtain, that the ability, or the thing we obtain, uh, is, is known as the power of key, basically using your mind to summon this force to, you know, attack things from far away. So yeah, that's the basic consensus of what key is, and I'm pretty sure everybody knew what that was, you know, what that was all like. You use the mind to attack, while with chi, you use the spirit of the body to attack. So yeah, big difference. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and finish talking to this old man, and uh, we will close off this episode. Anyway, the next place that we are going to go is just south of the Fuchin Temple in order to get to this village that is going to be in a lot of trouble from this, uh, from this uh, cataclysm that's happening within the place. But you shall see what it is once we get past this upcoming forest. But other than that, uh, with that said and done, I think this is probably a good spot to where we can go ahead and we can close things off here. So anyway, gamers, next time on Double RPG Let's Play with Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance, we're going to resume where we left off, and we are going to go to the forest, which is located just south of the Fuchin Temple. Anyway, gamers, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description, and if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then.